Welcome to Pod and Deliver. In 1963, a man immigrated to Los Angeles from La Paz, Bolivia. He was hired at a restaurant and became a dishwasher and later a cook. A year later, his wife joined him in Los Angeles. But she encouraged him to leave his job and do what he was really passionate about, and that is teaching. So he listened to his wife. And aren't we thankful for that? Because he became Jaime Escalante. He got his teaching credential, but first he took some English lessons at Pasadena City College and became a teacher, Garfield High School. And through his work, his life was immortalized in the film Stand and Deliver, in which it described a teacher who helped impact his students to pass the AP calculus exam really the impossible, just through basic math knowledge. Hmm. So what does Jaime Escalante's legacy mean to me? Well, we named our podcast after him. And it's the idea of doing something impossible, or at least seemingly impossible, in your own context of how you teach. So not all of us teach AP calculus, but maybe something impossible looking can be done through your lens or through the context of where you teach. For example, where I teach, maybe it's impossible to teach a complex text like say Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice to my students. So maybe an, a, an impossible thing would be to get 100% engagement and participation and maybe even comprehension of that text. But with Ghana's, which means desire, anything can happen. And so that's what Jaime Escalante's legacy means to me. How about you? Well, you know, to go on with a little history of his, you know, he entered Garfield in 1974. And, uh, you know, our father went to uh, Garfield. So we, there's a connection there that I have. And I know you do as well. Our mother went for a short time. And so as he was there in 74, and he shared that he was learning English and he began to teach at Garfield, you know, in the movie, it doesn't portray those early years. He, I like Jaime for a lot of reasons. And one is that he wasn't a Lone Ranger. There was another teacher by the name of Jimenez who he, he worked with and they, and they worked together as a team and they got these kids through and had been passing by the early eighties. So A, you know, they, it took a while, but B, you know, he had a, he had somebody there to, to join him and to, to work together. And so that was great. That partnering, that, that, uh, um, what do you call it? Partnering. Part, partnering, I can't even say it, but partnering. And then that being said, also we're looking at um, Jaime Escalante, what he did in the classroom. Uh, he, he was somebody who liked to connect. And that's something I, I took away from him. He found, what can I connect with these kids? Oh, wow. We have, a, you know what? A lot of us are, or all of his kids, most of his kids were Latino, almost all of them. And so he connected that way. He was from Bolivia. Um, they, there's a common ancestors, right? Uh, and he would refer back to that quite often to kind of spur them on. And I don't know what it will take for, um, for you, but for me, I try to find those connectors, try to find those uh, areas where I connect with the kids. Um, is it your race? Is it your music? Um, is it uh, sports? I try to find those things where I could uh, get those kids to listen, to, to be, um, just get involved in class. And those connectors do that, uh, at least for me. But yeah, Jaime Escalante means that to me. When I look back at his life, I want to be that way. I want to be somebody who connects with the kids. I want to be somebody who um, is inspirational, but first um, to be a teacher. And I think he would say that if he was here still alive, I think he would say I was a teacher and, and he taught well. I think that you're right. I think that there are things in the movie that uh, aren't, well, there are, there are things not shown in the movie yeah. that he did. You mentioned a partner of his, another teacher. Sure. And, um, and we will review the movie soon, but, because there's some great strategies that he used. Mm. And I knew, to, I have two friends that had him. And it's interesting talking to them because they also fill in some blanks. Mm. And, and it's actually still inspiring. The dedication involved to do something like that, the hours, mm. because there's no pill, right, right, that you take that is magical. You, you, you have to put in um, those hours. But it is important to have these great expectations for the students. And, and um, Thomas Sowell calls mm -hmm. it 
a bigotry of low expectations when you don't expect a student to do much because of their background, mm. because they traditionally haven't done well. Right. It's like, no, you, you do raise those standards. And it's another thing about uh, the great Jaime Escalante. And so, and there are more. So go ahead and leave a comment if you uh, were inspired in some way by either Escalante or somebody else and, uh, and like the video. And uh, we'll see you next time on Pot and Deliver. Bye-bye.